and today is May 12, 2020 and I finally reached the 4,000 public watch hours on YouTube and now I'm gonna show you how to apply for monetization with three steps on YouTube Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna share you the happiest day I ever experienced this month of May. Finally, for applying monetization for your YouTube channel, you must have at least 1,000 subscribers and you must reach 4,000 public watch hours and it is really required and if you doesn't Met that requirement, you're still not qualified for monetization. So now let's get started, and we are here on my YouTube and click YouTube Studio. Here we are at the dashboard, and you have to find monetization to check your watch hours. Now, as you can see, I have more than 2,000 subscribers and more than 4,000 public watch hours, which is only 4,000 required. But if it's more than, it's much more better. And now I'm searching YouTube just to start applying for monetization you have to click your profile and YouTube studio and I want to show you closer and you have to go back to monetization and now you can see it guys if you are eligible or you are qualified to apply you can see the blue there and you can see the three steps for channel monetization and step one review partner program terms and condition so you have to read and understand their terms because uh, it is good that you are that you are aware what is all about in there their policies and their terms so you have to be careful by clicking and before you agree you have to read the information and now you have to click the box that you have accepted the youtube partner program terms and emails updates announcement with personalized personalized tips and then click accept terms now it's loading so you can see the step one is color blue so when you click the start and then you did what you have to do then it's finished it will be green color so next one is the step two you have to sign up for google adsense because the google adsense this is what you have to do click start and you will be redirected to AdSense to complete this step and you have to click select and if you have an existing account already or no I don't have an existing account or you don't know just click 
because as I can remember, I have Go Google AdSense. I mean, I had Google AdSense in the past. I think that was 2015. I don't remember exactly. That's why now, maybe I will put, I don't know. I'm I am still thinking what I'm going to choose because you know I don't want to make mistake for creating my Google AdSense account because this Google AdSense accounts is the very important for you too because your earnings will be sent to this Google AdSense so be more careful and you have to check all the information and I put I don't know AdSense allows for one account per person. If you don't remember, try searching your inbox for an email from AdSense. AdSense, if you don't believe you have an existing account on the next screen, choose the Google AdSense you want to create an AdSense. So you have to read all the information there guys. Please try to understand and yeah that's my advice and click continue because uh, while i'm doing this i was getting nervous because uh, i don't want to fail otherwise all the hard works <laughs> will be lost so now here we are welcome back so yeah, it's true. I had a Google AdSense existing. So if you don't have, so it will not appear like this. But if you have an existing account, you have to pick something to use AdSense. You can connect your site. Yeah, I had Google AdSense with the WordPress before because I was uh, writing there now at least you can see it if you have or not your site adheres to adsense program policies and you don't have you don't already have another adsense account as we only allow one account per person so they are strict guys they are only allow one account for one person so you cannot use multiple google adsense so here they also have AdSense program policies. You can also check their official blog for updates. Example, see, it's uh, very informative, guys. And you have to discover what is in there. It's the loading. And now here we are. And this is my Google account. The Google AdSense must be the same with your YouTube channel. And we are here and we have to go to Finance and click the Payment Profile. Here, as you can see, here is still zero because I want to change it while my channel is not monetized yet. So that's it guys for today's vlog, how I applied for monetization on YouTube with three steps. So next vlog, I will show you if I will get approved or not on YouTube. Thank you so much guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share my YouTube channel.